Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will discuss about proportional controller with great clarity. Before I start with my explanation, let me tell you the outlines of this video. In this video, I will discuss about basics, output, physical understanding, significance, log diagram, transfer function, pros and cons of proportional controller. So let us start this video with first agenda that is basics of proportional controller. Here you can observe standard control system is given with negative feedback. So this is standard control system and here we have negative feedback. See with standard control system, controller is connected in series with system. So here we have controller and here we have system. Input to controller will be error signal. That is a difference in between input signal and feedback signal. Controller will generate controlled signal and that will be given to system. Here we are talking about proportional controller. Means this controller that will be proportional controller. And one should know proportional controller is having constant gain. Let us consider that constant gain of proportional controller is kp so here we are talking about proportional controller and with this control system this controller is proportional controller which is having constant gain kp let us consider system gain that is g of s and feedback gain that is h of s in that situation output of proportional controller that is m of s that will be error signal into gain of controller here gain of controller is kp so m of s that will be e of s into kp here this e of s error signal that is a difference in between input and feedback so e of s that is r of s minus f of s here this feedback signal that is feedback gain into output so feedback gain that is h of s and output that is c of s so this f of s that is c of s into h of s so here output of controller that will be constant gain kp into r of s minus c of s h of s right and if you want to calculate total transfer function then that is output c of s divided by input r of s and that is there as per negative feedback one should know with negative feedback gain is total gain over here that is forward gain divided by 1 plus total gain into feedback gain here this total gain that is kp into g of s and feedback gain that is h of s so transfer function will be kp g of s divided by 1 plus kp g s h s right now i will discuss about physical understanding of proportional controller see gain of proportional controller that is constant right as gain of controller is constant shape of output of proportional controller that will be same as input to the controller so input to the controller is error signal so output of controller that will be having similar shape it is there with input to the controller right here only output is getting multiplied with constant kp let me explain you how so here we have amplitude on vertical axis and time on horizontal axis if you observe here input is given that is input to controller let us consider kp that is lower than one so you can observe output of controller that is having similar shape as we have input to the controller but here amplitude that is lower compared to input why the reason is constant gain kp that is lower than one but as if constant gain kp is higher than one then shape will be similar you can observe but output that is greater compared to input right so here with proportional controller 
shape wise output of proportional controller will be same as input to the controller and here output that is getting multiplied by constant gain kp if kp is higher then one can say response is faster and as if kp is lower then you can say response is slower now to understand that let me explain that by graphical understanding here as i have told you proportional controller that is having constant gain kp if you have higher value of kp then your response will be faster what it means it means it will take less time to get change at output side so if you want faster response then you should be considering higher value of kp if you have lower value of kp then the response is getting slower which means it takes more time to get change at output side let me explain that by time domain analysis here on vertical axis we have amplitude and on horizontal axis we have time now here what i am doing is i am explaining this response with respect to one level to second level like you can observe here output is changing from this level to this level here we are considering lower value of kb because of we have lower value of kb output is taking this much time to get change from lower value to higher value whereas if you have higher value of kb then you can observe change in output that is happening with lower duration means output is getting faster right or one can say we have faster response so here there are few basic things that you need to understand see if you increase the value of kp then your response is getting faster right if you lower down the value of kp then your response is getting slower now i'll explain you block diagram of proportional controller with standard second order system one should know standard second order system that is having system gain g of s that is omega n square divided by s into s plus 2 zeta omega n this is standard second order system right here omega n that is natural resonance frequency and this value of zeta that is damping constant right here we have controller that is proportional controller that is having gain kp we are considering unity negative feedback over here right now i'll explain you transfer function calculation see transfer function for negative feedback that will be gs divided by 1 plus gs hs here gs is kp into gain of standard second order system as that is there in series right and hs is unity over here so if you substitute g of s is equals to kp into this and h of s is equals to 1 then transfer function will be kp omega n square divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus kp omega n square and if you compare this transfer function with standard second order system then there is only one difference that you can observe see here with standard second order system we have omega n square while with proportional controller system here we have kp omega n square what it means it means if you increase the value of kp then natural resonance frequency will increase and if you decrease the value of kp then natural resonance frequency will decrease right so here kp that will be affecting natural resonance higher the value of kp higher the natural resonance and lower the value of kp lower the natural resonance right here one more thing that you need to note down if you have higher value of kp then you have faster response but along with faster response peak overshoot will increase as well as there will be more steady state error while with lower value of kp peak overshoot will be less and there will be less steady state error what it means it means 
और हायर वैल्यू ऑफ के बी वी हैव लोअर स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ द सिस्टम एंड फॉर लोअर वैल्यू ऑफ के बी वी हैव हायर स्टेबिलिटी ऑफ सिस्टम राइट नाउ आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ प्रोपोर्शनल कंट्रोलर सी इन एडवांटेजेस वन शुड नो विथ प्रोपोर्शनल कंट्रोलर वी हैव सिंप्लिसिटी we don't need any integral or a derivative with this proportional controller right here we have stability with simple system and for higher value of kp we have faster response so these are the advantages now let me discuss about disadvantages see here we have steady state error proportional controller cannot eliminate steady state error always remember this and with proportional controller if you have higher value of kp then steady state error that will increase right see there will be overshoot at higher gain so if you have higher value of kp then overshoot will increase right slower response will be there with lower value of kp and that is leading to small errors so if you have small errors like if you prefer to have a small errors then you will have to lower down the value of kp but if you lower down the value of kp then the response is getting slower right see it is sensitive to change in load and it cannot handle non linearities so this is all about proportional controller i hope you have enjoyed this session till if any confusion is there just place that in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video